Hello everyone, so today we are looking at eyebrows and we're going to be learning about some best tips and things you really want to be looking for when you're going to be putting eyebrows in a portrait because they're not as straightforward as they look. So let's start off by looking at some eyebrow trends throughout history um, because as we know beauty standards change over the years and um, so let's have a little look at a picture that shows you how different styles of eyebrows um, have worked over the last hundred years. Quite a lot of variety there, you've got some really thin ones, you've got some crazy arched ones, you've got really thick ones, you've got quite wild ones, you've got ones that have been over really plucked, looking at you, the 90s, um, and here now is a picture of some brows of Classic beauties. If you can spot Audrey Hepburn, Kate Moss, Cara Delvigny, 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 the I don't know, um, and uh, oh, what's her Elizabeth Taylor. So, there's lots of different shapes of eyebrows, we just come across that. Um, sometimes that's because um, people have shaped them deliberate, del deliberately, uh, but also it's just people have different types of eyebrow, you know? Um, people are born with different types of eyebrows, some people's eyebrows are quite straight, some people have a natural arch, some people's are kind of upturned, some people are kind of downturned. Um, hi. So let's have a wee look at some of the kind of classic eyebrow shapes and um, I wouldn't take these as red and um, I'd really just kind of look at them as more of an exercise in observing what can be different and um, where the where they begin what angle is the main bit at where does the end go is it at a wide angle short angle length all that sort of vibe you know So now I think it's a good time to go and use the example you have in front of you and go and look at your own eyebrows in the mirror and see how the hair there is growing, what shape are they, um, do they match? They probably don't match uh, because like eyebrows, not like like eyes, uh, they're sisters, not twins, and they're not going to be exactly the same. Mine, well, I've got one eyebrow that's much more arched than the other, just always, always has been that way. Um, so have a look at how they're the same and how they're different and um, what you observe there um, will help you in your drawing going forward. It also feels very rude to be talking about eyebrows without throwing Frida Kahlo a mention, the queen of eyebrows. Um, she often painted herself with a very enhanced monobrow, um, which she didn't really have in real life when you look at um, photos of her, um, but it's something that she chose to emphasise. Um, so that's interesting, you know. So now we're going to look at how to go about drawing your eyebrows and we're going to start by sketching the outside shape and um, because I find that this is the easiest way to go about it and make sure you're getting the eyebrows at the right angle because if you get your eyebrows at the wrong angle and um, your person's going to end up with a slightly odd um, expression or not an odd expression but not the expression that you're aiming for and um, so I find it's nice to kind of block sketch in the outline a bit like those illustrations we had um, and that really helps me when I'm then placing the hair in later. Um, so let's have a wee look at how we do that. It's mostly, like all of this, just about observing how all the different bits are changing and making sure everything's at the right angle, you know? So there you go, that's how I do it. I look at all the different angles. I've got angles here, 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 and here. And if you kind of look at how those all interact, you're gonna get roughly the right shape. 
Now let's have a look at how those brows will fit into the face. Um, so just if you have a feel again, you can feel that your eyebrows are sitting on the brow bone of your skull, which is the top of your eye socket. So if we look at our drawing, it's going to be along that brow line that we drew. So let's have a look at how you'd slot that into your drawing. So we've got our outline in, um, now we need to think about how to draw all the little hairs of our eyebrows in realistically um, and that's quite a challenge um, and my number one tip is make sure that your pencil is really really sharp, a bit like when we're doing eyelashes, you want a really sharp pencil. So I think um, the first and most important thing um, to think about is that eyebrow hair does not all go the same way, um, it's not all facing out the way as you'd kind of want to do, just all the all the lines painting the same way, they're all pointing different ways um, yeah so di different points of the eyebrow will be pointing in different directions um, so let's have a wee look at that. Um, another important thing is to consider how groomed or photoshopped um, the eyebrows that you're drawing are so it could be that they've used photoshop and got rid of any imperfections around the outside, it could be that they've got really good makeup on so it's all beautifully smoothed in and gelled down. Uh, it could be they've had them shaped so they've had any hairs taken out and all the edges are really perfect. Or it could be that they're pretty natural in which case that there'll be a few stray hairs around the edges, maybe a few in the middle. Um, so it's really important to look at these trends and this is apparent in both men and women, especially if you're drawing from pictures off the internet. Um, models are groomed and they'll have their eyebrows done, they'll be photoshopped later. A lot of celebrities as well, including male celebrities, um, so that's a really good thing to be really looking out for, just like, oh, wonder what they've been doing to their eyebrows. Um, so here's a few examples of groomed and ungroomed um, men and women's eyebrows. See if you can spot the difference between the ones that have been done and maybe ones that have been less done. Now it's time to get drawing, I'm going to show you how I draw the hairs into an eyebrow. So as we've learned, um, eyebrows have had all sorts of different fashion trends over the years um, and recently there's been some pretty wacky ones and um, so if you want to have a real challenge that's going to test your observation skills and maybe come out with quite a unique drawing, um, have a go at some of these examples of eyebrow trends.
this is done. Who knew there was so much to say about eyebrows? Um, I hope that helps you with your eyebrow drawing and portraits. It is one of the trickiest bits to get to look natural and not stand out. So hopefully this will give you a wee hand. Also, finally, if you want a laugh um, and you want to see why eyebrows are important, Google celebrities without eyebrows. It's worth it. It's really worth it. All right, our joke for today is um, I don't normally surf the web, but when I do, eyebrows. Oh, awful. I think you need a picture for that, really, don't you? Um, anyway, uh, have a lovely day. Um, enjoy this blistering sunshine. Um, take care. Bye.